I'm going to make this additional video, um, and let's just call it additional thoughts on monetary policy. And I wanted to just briefly talk about how does expansionary monetary policy look. If you remember here, expansionary monetary policy means increasing the money supply. And as you increase the money supply, it lowers the interest rate. And as you lower the interest rate, consumption goes up and investment goes up. So how does that actually change the economy? Well, we can see here that GDP would go up just because of that. But the way that this looks is that real GDP is on the x-axis, price level is on the y-axis, and my aggregate demand, meaning my overall demand in the economy, looks like this, which is just C plus I plus G plus NX. And then I have what's called my SRAS, which is my short-run aggregate supply. But that, that's different than my long-run aggregate supply, LRAS, long-run aggregate supply. They're different because we think that prices adjust at different um, levels. What you can see here is that if I engage in expansionary monetary policy, it can shift out my aggregate demand curve because my C is now higher, my I is now higher, and it can shift up my economy to the equilibrium. In contractionary monetary policy, the exact opposite thing is happening. Here I am lowering the money supply. And as I lower the money supply, the interest rate goes up. And as the interest rate goes up, consumption falls and investment falls. When would I do that? I would do that when my economy looks like this. Here's my aggregate demand curve. Here's my short-run aggregate supply. I would do this when my long-run aggregate supply curve is now to the left. Because now my goal is that I want to shrink the economy to bring my aggregate demand curve inward. This up here, this was called a recessionary gap, meaning the economy was not doing well. This here is called an inflationary gap, which meant the economy was doing too good. Um, basically, here we wanted to boost the economy and help it do better. Here we wanted to cool the economy down so that we didn't get inflation.